obviously, I think everybody in there is proud of our team for, for bouncing back the way they did and just being resilient, showing up to work and putting together um, a really good game, almost a, a complete game. Obviously, we penalized ourselves there at the end for, for them to score, but uh, got some performances by a ton of guys. Uh, obviously, Jakari got to start and did a lot of good things, and uh, Jalen Knight ran really, really hard. Credit to the offensive line, down three or four starters and rushed the ball well, uh, allowed one sack. And obviously, Ken Kitchens, I think he's had a school record of it, if I'm not mistaken. But I think he's had some I don't think that will ever we'll talk about when we make those decisions. I don't think it's fair to anybody um, in the process. But you know, we knew this team coming in that day. They do a really good job knocking the ball out. And if you watch his high school tape, he does a good job throwing it. He does a good job running it. And he runs it with power. He has great ball security. Always has. So uh, and he did a really nice job today. Mario, is it possible that the target is starting to have a break? Well, if, when you perform that well, that's always going to be the first question. I'm sure you guys had that one loaded and ready to fire out. Uh, he did a really good job tonight. So, obviously, he's a really, really good player. So, he's earned a lot. The, the physicality up front of the one game for you guys, from the start, okay, there, that, that had to be nice to see. Well, you got a lot of new starters up, right? You've got, uh, you mentioned it, three or four offensive linemen that are new, right? Uh, we miss Elijah Royal, man. I mean, that guy's a really, really good football player. And... Uh, you know, a freshman quarterback on the road is going to be necessary to protect him, to get the ground game going, and uh, part of the offensive line. And really the coaching staff are putting together a game plan that allowed us to be successful and, uh, and execute it really well. How much does playing time allow you to add to the offensive line? You've got a lot more speed than James and Tyler. Well, you see, when you watch film, you'll see the difference. It's a different game plan, right? I won't get into all the schematic and stuff that's in there, right? We still got to prepare for future opponents and everything else. But he does a lot and he throws the ball really, really well. You know, I think some of the throws that came out wrong were probably being a little bit nervous. Well, this is good to get a road uh, game underneath his belt, make it a victory, and now improve from here. Well, you guys didn't have all these uh, mm-hmm. the Awesome job. And the best part about him is that, you know, he is, he has a lot of pride, and he fumbled, right? Earlier this season, everybody's all, we'll play this, but no, let him earn it back, and he did, and he did it by spending a ton of time on ball security, running harder, um, understanding protection better. I don't think people realize how well he protected tonight as well. They brought corner fire, they brought mic fire, they brought nickel fire, and he picked them all up, I believe, on the touchdown as well. So uh, just really fired up about Rooster in the way that we affectionately call him the Rooster, right? about how he played tonight, but more importantly, how he approached adversity, because that's what our team needs to keep growing. We've got to face this, you know, our circumstances and adversity. We've got to face it and come out and just punch right back. So. Yeah, he's unfazed. Yeah, he does, he's unfazed. I mean, if you, again, take some time to watch his high school film. It was the same demeanor tonight. He's... Commanding presence, doesn't get phased, um, is physical, right? Made some really good throws. Thought that plan he threw in the first half on the third down. It really sparked us to go down and score. was a really big throw as well. So just he did a great job taking in the game plan, practicing well throughout the course of the week along with the other guys. Um, and so he came out tonight and he showed it 7 for 12 on third down. Putting ourselves in good and manageable third down situations certainly helped as well. He's improving. He's improving, getting better and better. He's on track to come back and be able to play. You guys love those medical reports. What? Cam Kitchens, I mean, he's nice. Three interceptions. Yeah, um, one of them 99 yards. Well, you know, he's, he's trying to score on the onside kick, too, now. Yeah. He, got, he got the appetite for getting in the end zone. <laughs> so, that guy, if you walk into our facility throughout the course of the week, at night, late into the night, He'll be there just watching, studying, bringing in guys with him. He's exactly what you want on your football team. And all that stuff pays off, man. People forget he's only a sophomore, okay? He's only a sophomore, but he does a great job. He took a shot um, to the shoulder, shrugged it off, came right back in. Just uh, an absolute study. All right, you turn it off, you know, you know, go crazy with the 
team for how they kind of bounced back after 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 the FSU loss. I mean, how did they do that? I guess because it's easy to say just put it behind you, but. You do it with reality, you know, in a world where everybody's always head faking and BS, and we just do it with reality. We just talk about the facts. We didn't play well last week. We didn't. And we allowed ourselves to get in a hole, and we didn't, didn't shake ourselves out of it. Can't do anything about that anymore. Got to wait till next year for that game. What we could do is show up to practice on Tuesday and show up to meetings early and get to work on the things that allow us to get better. And if you sugarcoat that, you're setting yourself up for disaster. So we won't do that. We're developing. We're growing as a football program. We're building. And that's a really nice way to take a step in the right direction by the way the guys responded and played tonight. I wasn't during the game. I thought it was good to go. But apparently, you know, he got nicked up early on his ankle. So we went with the other guys. Monster. Lou Headley's a monster. He is a monster. I don't know if anyone's ever referred to a, a punter as a monster, but that guy. I did. Well, <laughs> well, and then we almost had the other one down at the one yard line, too, that slipped out of our hands. But watch how he does it. You know, it's hard to tell where he's going to put the ball because he could roll both ways. He could roll, he could kick it right, he could kick it left. Um, he's a directional kicker that could do it stationary or on the run. And he's like a pitching wedge when you're there in that. In that um, in that pooch area, you know, where he could put it down there and, you know, he does all that, you know, I don't know. He learned that somewhere, you know, about bouncing to the right way. Big picture-wise, you guys obviously went away from getting the bowl game. The importance of that, do you stress it at all? We stress every game as being the most important game we play. I think some things that are obvious, you, you let them take care of themselves a little bit, but I think it's important to, to note that that team was coming off a big victory and that team was also fighting for it victory number five and uh, a lot of respect for them and their coaches and their players obviously you know a lot of them throughout the years haven't recruited those things but uh, all focus on us just getting better you know, and today was a really nice step in that direction